Hi, uh, in this video we're going to talk about um, Coptic, uh, just a couple of more Coptic phrases. And I'm using uh, this screen here, it's a little bit easier to read, I think, because you can put the line in here if I've just written it out. Um, so we're going to do that instead of a uh, PowerPoint presentation, because presentation really doesn't have a, a great Coptic font. So um, I'm going to use orange. It's a good contrast. Uh, so the first word, first one here, first phrase is he, joome. Um, and he, if you remember from the vocabulary, is on or pawn. Well, it's not uh, underlining very well. And joome, uh, this is the word for the book. And so if you notice here, um, that is masculine. And then uh, joome is the, that's the word. Oh, that's the uh, <clears throat> that's the rest of the words. So the articles here. This is the. It means it's masculine the, and then the rest of the word. <clears throat> uh, the next one is men prome. Uh, so men, if you remember, uh, this is going to be with, and uh, prome. This is going a little bit slower than when I made it at first, uh, but that's the and masculine, and rome is. Uh, man. And if you know any Middle Egyptian, you know that that's similar to the word remet or remet, um, that man or person or something of that uh, nature. So this is with or together with accompanying the man. Men, if you remember that from the vocabulary and from just about right here, it's with or accompanying. And teshime, this is a really good example of something we were talking about earlier. Um, this is the feminine article, and then this is the noun, he may, because it starts with uh, two consonants here. We have the um, e, so it's not just he may, it's te, he may, so with the woman. Uh, next we have hejin, uh, and this is on or upon. So if you remember, he is on or upon, hejin is on our pond also. Um, <clears throat> Hijin. And then we have Nehyawe. So the first thing you want to see about that is that uh, the Ne here, um, that, is, uh, that is a plural. <clears throat> so uh, this H and the Yoda here, the Yoda is a consonantal Yoda, so it counts as a consonant here. It's a yes sound instead of an E sound. Um, and so this requires a vowel between the N sound and the noun here, so nehyawe. And this is also a good example of a consonantal W sound with the omicron epsilon. We don't see that very much in Greek orthography, or really at all, but um, in Coptic we will get a consonantal value for this. So it's like wa, a W sound. So on or upon. Um, this is the word for roads, and this is actually one where the, the word self changes, not just the article. So on the roads. Next. Then we have ha. If you remember from the, vocab the vocabulary, ha is under. A name. Uh, and this is actually a plural for house. Um, <clears throat> so a is the, is the stem, and n is the uh, plural article, so under the houses. And then the last one we're going to do here is hijin, so on or upon, again, ntol. And if you remember, ntol, uh, tol, again with this interesting consonantal W sound, is mountain. And then n, that will be the uh, plural article prefix, or that is the plural article, so on or upon the mountain. Um, and that's all for this video. We're going to do some more uh, examples in the next one, and hopefully we can move on, start moving on to sentences um, really soon.